Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, it is time for one of my favorite videos. So I know we just did BoxyCharm, but I just got in my Ricky's Colt Crushes for the month of March and I figured we should go ahead and test it out. So this month we got a whole lot of stuff and some stuff that I need to use before I put the rest of my makeup on. So I'm bare faced and ready to test out some products with y'all. Um, this is the card that came for this month and it's called You Can Make Up With Us presented by Too Much Mouth. And it says hashtag came to crush. So <clears throat> we're just gonna go right in. And the first thing I'm gonna use is this LA Girl Pro Prep. It is a primer. It says it's HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. Um, I'm guessing this is translucent. And before it's proofed. Eh. So once I get this open, here we go. We are just gonna put this on the face first and see how it feels. Squeezy tube, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out on my hand. It is clear. It kinda looks like the Smashbox primer that I already know I'm in love with. Kinda feels the same, just first impression. And I'm just gonna take it and put it in all my little problem areas, which is pretty much my whole entire t-zone and with Ricky's we don't get a price on everything on the card so I'm not sure exactly what everything is worth but I promise you this is a good value so we've got the primer the next thing we've got here is a beauty tool we have got a Ricky care beauty sponge looks like a beauty blender basically <clears throat> but it is blue very squishy and I'm gonna go dampen it up and put some foundation on with it okay so this actually got quite a bit bigger still super squishy I think I got a cat hair on it between my makeup room and the bathroom but that's okay so we have got this and I'm gonna use my tried and true wet and wild foundation and just blend it in with this sponge and see how we feel I'm gonna have to be kind of careful so if I'm a little patchy around my eyebrows it's because I'm still not entirely sure if I'm supposed to be wearing makeup yet <laughs> but we're gonna try not to hurt anything and we are gonna zoom in okay so we're just gonna take this big end and just start blending Okay, so that worked pretty well. Uh, absorbed about as much as a beauty blender would. Pretty much the same kind of thing. We're gonna go ahead and use it with some Catrice concealer just to brighten up my face. This is the first time I've worn foundation in like a whole week. I feel like a girl. <laughs> I love it, you guys. Okay. So, blending again. Okay, so I went ahead and prepped my eyelids for our next product. This is the big one in the box. We have got the Meat Matrimony palette from The Balm. And this I'm super excited about. I have never actually tried their eyeshadows, but I've only heard good things. You've got a big mirror and nine matte shades that look really promising. They're all named after different mattes. Obviously not all real ones, but different versions of matte. So I am gonna contour and blush and highlight, and I will be right back to do these eyes. 
Okay, so I'm back and ready to do the eyes. And as promised, this is the blush from BoxyCharm with actual makeup on, very pretty. And I also mixed the two lightest shades in this Spotlight palette that I showed y'all Sunday for my highlight, and that is blinding. I know, a thousand years behind. Better late than never. So now we are gonna go in with this Meet Matrimony palette and a Morphe M518, and we are just gonna get started. Okay, so I guess we are just going to start with what looks like a good transition shade to me. And we are going to go into Matte Lynn. That's right here. It's just a nice tan. Honestly, more going to set my eyes than anything. And go ahead and put that here. Okay, so then we are going to go into Matte Rossi, that's right here, and put that down in the crease just to deepen it up. Okay, so these are not coming out nearly as pigmented as I wanted, and there's quite a bit of fallout, but we're going to go into a darker color. We're going to go into Matte Kumar. It's this middle shade. I'm kind of feeling a cranberry moment and just see if we can get that to lay down a little bit darker. Okay, so that shade definitely worked better. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of Matte Reed right here. This is a brown and just put that in the outer corner. And like usual, we're still working on the same brush. Okay, so that deepened it up. And I'm just going to take Matt Thomas right here, the pink, and use my finger and try to lay that down on the lid. I'm really awkward with matte looks because I never know what to do. It feels good though. Okay, and then I'm going to take this little brush from my BoxyCharm and go into Matt Kumar or Cranberry and just put that in my lower lash line. Okay, um, and since there's no shimmers, I don't really know what I would put in my inner corner, so I guess I'm just not going to. But we're gonna go in with Art Next, which is a Palladio, is that how you say it? It's a liquid eyeliner. Um, these are not my absolute favorite kinds of liquid eyeliner because I'm really, really bad at liquid eyeliner, but we're going to try it. <clears throat> it is a plastic tip, not really a brush, and we're going to see if we can get a bit of a wing with this. Okay, so that's going to be a hard no. That resembles a wing, but it is not a wing. The end of this is just so, like, firm. I can't get the flick I need with it, if that makes sense. But we're going to go ahead and copy it on the other eye anyways and finish this up. Okay, so this eye went a little better, but definitely... I don't, I don't think I'm a fan of this. No offense to the brand, but... Oh, you're supposed to shake it, I guess? It doesn't say shake it on here anywhere, but it makes a noise when you shake it. 
so maybe you are, but that brush applicator tip thingy just ain't working for me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we have one more item in the box, and what we've got is a pair of House of Lashes in the style Temptress. I don't know if everybody got the same ones, but those are the ones that I got. And these are super pretty. I'm going to show them to y'all, but I'm not going to apply them. They have an invisible band. They are really wispy and really long. They look super pretty, and House of Lashes are supposed to be amazing. I've never tried them. But I'm going to save these because as soon as I open a pair of lashes, they are done. <laughs> so I'm just going to save these for later. And I'm going to go ahead and finish out this look and give you my hits and misses for this box. So one second. Okay, guys. So I just put on a lippy and some mascara. Um, and I guess it's time for my final thoughts. Okay, so... The primer, I'll have to let y'all know, it feels almost just like Smashbox Photo Finish, which is one of my favorites, not my absolute favorite, but I do like it. And with it being LA Girl, I know it's got to be a pretty good price break compared to the Smashbox. So, so far, I mean, I've only had it on as long as I've been filming, but it doesn't look like it's broken down at all or settled too bad. So it looks like it's probably a pretty solid primer. I won't know until I try it a few more times, but it looks so far so good. <laughs> so then we've got this sponge, which looks gross now, but this is really solid. I actually really like the sponge. Blended well, good size, cute color. Um, definitely will keep using this one. Very excited. I'm always down for a new beauty sponge. Anybody out there listening? I love me some beauty sponges. They are my favorite. And I hate having to buy them. Like, I just hate it. But I love them. <clears throat> then we've got our eyeliner. This is going to be a flop for me. Um, I don't think this is a very expensive liner either. So this is probably a lower ticket item in the box. It just didn't, like... I mean, I guess it would be okay if you're just doing your lash line. But as far as getting a wing with it, not so much. It's just got a really awkward tip. And it doesn't work for that sorry <laughs> uh the lashes are super cute i cannot wait to try them i have always wanted to try house of lashes which is why i'm going to save them for a special look later on y'all will see i just don't want to mess them up on this first go and not have them when i want them later but these are super pretty cannot wait to add those to my lash drawer and then the star of the box um I like this palette. It's really pretty, pretty good quality. The lighter colors up here, and probably these two aren't super pigmented, but they do blend well. They look good. I mean, they weren't hard to apply by any means at all. So this is definitely a good palette. Definitely something that I would probably purchase on my own. Like I'm not really an all matte person, but I like to have a couple of all matte palettes. Just so, you know, days when I need to tone it down. So this is definitely my favorite thing in the box, followed up at a close second by this, and then the lashes. I'm excited about all three of those. Definitely will be trying out the primer some more. Can never have enough primer. <laughs> but this is a really solid box. Um, so far, they have killed it. I mean, this is only my second month, is it? I think this is just my second month and this month we actually got all makeup related things so I'm really excited about that and I'm excited to see what they have in store for us next month because this box killed it again and just to get something like the balm is not really super high end but it's a pretty high end brand so that's exciting but that is it for today's video I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days bye you guys